Hi everyone, it's Lucas from Control. Welcome to this channel which helps you to develop your algorithmic trading strategies and increase your profits. Today, I will show you how to analyze the risk of your strategy using the Monte Carlo simulation. Let's get started. Monte Carlo simulations are very useful to simulate the future behavior of a strategy return. And in our case, we will use the past data to analyze the variance of the return over a period for a specific strategy. So to allow you to understand better the Monte Carlo simulation, I will show you an example of the Monte Carlo simulation applied to the backtesting. And the idea here will be to take the percentage of variation from a trading strategy and to reorganize the data using a shuffle. And using this, we will have different behavior over the period for the return of the strategy, but the end and the beginning will be exactly the same. So first we need to install Y Finance to import data to simulate the strategy returns. And we need to import some libraries like NumPy, Pandas, etc. And to simulate our strategy return, I have just taken this function, which comes from the video why 80% of the trader lose money. And I have just reorganized the beginning. I will explain you at the end of the video how to have this template. So still until the end, if you are interested. So if I take, for example, the return of Google over the year 2019, I can see that if I reorganize the return, okay, so if I take all the return and I put it at a random place, we can see that the distance between the higher simulation and the lower simulation is very high, okay? Because we don't have a very stable return here. For example, here we have an increase around 20%, then we lose 20%, then we earn 30%, okay? In just one year. The Monte Carlo simulation will highlight you the risk of this strategy. For example, if we simulate 10 different placements for the region, okay, we can see that we are not very often below 0%, okay, below the break-even line, okay, and the worst loss is around 15%. We also can see that from the higher simulation to the lower simulation, we have nearly 50% of variation, which is huge. And it means that your strategy is not very stable, okay? So the goal when you will use a Monte Carlo simulation in that way is to have a very stable strategy and around this strategy, a very little variation of all the simulation. And if you have that, it means that in the past, your strategy was very, very robust. And if you keep the same strategy and above all, the same risk management and money management techniques, you're all in a very good position to avoid at the maximum to lose money, okay? Because of course, it's not impossible that you lose money. And of course, when you trade, there always is a risk that you lose money and the goal of all the risk management technique that I show you is to minimize this risk. If you want to go deeper into the algorithmic trading field, you can check my book, Python for Finance and Algorithmic Trading, in which we will speak about portfolio management, technical analysis, machine learning, deep learning, and more for MetaTorial 5 live trading. So if you are interested, you can check the link of the book in the description. And if you want to use the template that I used in this video, you can also 
find the link to the description to the Discord forum of the community and you can find the templates in the YouTube room in the forum. If you like the video, don't hesitate to like and subscribe, it's very essential for my SEO.